How are we looking? We are not live. Van, hey. I'm looking up here and it looks good. Okay, well, so I got the good time Tommy over there. I've got uh, the good time Tommy or the GTT Homes. I'm liking what I'm saying. Does the picture look more clear? I don't see any comments. Hey, now I do see on my. I do see down there that we now have my words down there. Hey, Will Webb, how are you, my man? What we're doing this morning is we're, we're looking at our new software system. Hey, hey. What percentage of your potential are you hitting? You can't see it? I can see it, but I don't know if anybody else can see it. What is this man doing here? So, can anybody see, can you see our title? Can you see all this stuff uh, on here? You can't see it, Drew? Let me see you. Let me see your phone. Well, we still got some work to do. And I have pushed Van to an uncomfortable state to get us up and going on this new software. He didn't want to do it. He, wanted, he was trying to buy time. One of the four categories where you're going to get an objection, he was stalling. He was buying. He was begging for time. Give me... Give me uh give me some time. You don't need time, Van. I think it looks great. Quality is A1. So we're getting it up and going. What we're talking about today is what percentage of your potential are you hitting? This uh this question was posed to me by a good friend this morning, Dan Elam. Does it look good on here? Somebody tag Dan Elam to give him some credit. Thank you, Tammy Burton. If you do me a favor, please get on here, like, comment, and share the stream. Really appreciate it. I did not take a shower after our workout this morning. I apologize if it offends some of you. Whenever you say you stink, I already know I stink. But you can still tell me. Somebody tag Dan? Anybody? Oh, you're not friends with him. Okay, well, if somebody was on here, tag Dan Elam because I want him to know that he, had, he posed a great question that we talked about this morning. And the question is this. What potential... What percentage of your potential are you currently hitting right now? Because the reason why we were talking about this is because he's in a frustrated state. Every time I talk to Dan, he's frustrated. Yeah, I always want to. I mean, he, he's striving to be the best and wants more. That's exactly right. So he, I, he asked me, what percentage do you feel like you're operating at of my potential? And I said, you know, it's definitely under 50 and if I really were to think about it, it's probably in that 20 to 30%. I know I can do more. And I think Stephen and Steve Munga probably are going to have some input here. What per, what percent are you reaching right now, Mr. Munga? How do you calculate the percent in terms of what? Uh, what you just uh, make the number up. <laughs> you're like, do you think you're anywhere near your potential? Yes, do you, yes, yes, you do? Yes. Yes, as far as what I'm doing is concerned, I, I probably am doing maybe 70, 80% or something like that. Where do you think you are, Weatherman? That's the same. You think? Yeah. Carrie Ann Sears on here, she's going to do $200 million in volume this year, and I bet you she's going to say, you know what, I ain't nowhere near my potential. But you got to think, her, her, her mindset and mentality is in a different place. Everybody, so you got to think, you got to remember the thing where it talks about tens and hundreds and thousands. So we're all made differently. I may be made to make two hundred thousand dollars max. So what happens when I make a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollars? I reach my potential, correct? So I don't no, have to no, make two hundred. No, no, you've reached your comfort. No, no, no. That's somewhere that I can have peace in my life that I'm okay with. How much more? Comfort. How much do you think Weatherman could do if he wanted to? What What could he do? Yeah, but you might be happy. What would I give up? You may give up some other areas of your life. I may give up time to see my kids. My, my you could. I may you give could. up time to mentor and talk and stuff like that. So that to me is more, more of my potential that I'm not, I'm at about 50 or 60 because I think if about coaching or teaching. Cecilia, what should you get? Maybe just to add on what he's saying. I always believe that potential is something that grows. Yes, it's it not, does. You don't, you don't. That's right. 
you are not in the same place every time. So you have to grow. Into How something. much? Well, 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 the way I'm hearing what you're saying is mm -hmm. you ain't got much left. You said you're at 70 to 80 percent. According to what I have. Right now. But once I hit But your potential ceiling, is unlimited. You said it great. It continues to grow. Yeah, but you have to put yourself put yourself some goals. You have to put yourself uh, targets. You're saying between now, like the other day you asked me how many houses do I want to do it? We talked about 30. That's a target, but I'm not going to stay at 30. The other year I'll be talking probably about 50. The other year I'll be talking about something else because I'm developing myself. So the other year the potential will be different from what it is right now. Do you think potential is unlimited? Yes, definitely. Yeah. definitely. If, if you had a five-year-old son and he said, hey, Dad, I want to be a firefighter. Would you send him into a burning house? <laughs> Maybe. So, so there's different levels of potential. So you would give him a fire truck. You would give yeah. him a garden hose. So you would, you would take yeah, but I don't believe in lowering that target on your it's potential. Not lowering it. you got to hit the first target first. Mm -hmm. Well, I think, but I still think your potential is unlimited. So I'm answering this mm -hmm. question That's based correct. on unlimited potential. That's very correct. How did you say I like the way you said your potential continues to expand. To, to grow. It's I'm going to steal that from you <laughs> and say I said that. Van, I said yeah. your potential will continue to expand. I got a question for you. Let's hear it. So where are you at on your potential? I think it's probably in the 20 to 30. It's way down there. So if you hit 100%, what would you envision you being? Well, I'm somebody uh, – I, I, I believe – I'm a whole person, yeah, and my I mean, potential, my potential is in the whole area of my life. But where could you, if you was at, a, if you was hit ninety percent of your potential, what would you envision? GTT team and real estate. Where would we be sitting right now? What were our sales? How many people? So we're specifically we're talking about the team and sales and sales volume and yeah, money. Yeah, we're, we're on a okay. Uh, well, I believe that everybody here should be doing a minimum of 25 deals. And if we've got if we've got uh, 10 or 11 people, I really believe we could be doing three. I would feel really good with where we are if we're doing 300 deals. Okay. But once we got there, I would figure out this. There's a way we can keep growing. Right. So my question to you is those potential goals are great. What, what do you sacrifice when you hit those? big marks because they're big marks so there is a sacrifice somewhere right? any gain comes with a sacrifice we well for me the the big sacrifices come down to my profitability and that's where the biggest one has come uh, so time no no well, I bought, you, no, you no I've, I've gained more time well no but if you doubled or tripled what you have now you wouldn't gain more time why not? Because I, you, you'd have to either have something. That's how you scale, it. though. You scale with great people. And with great people, it buys you time. So so the way I would do it is I would have more people so I could have more time. So whenever you're trading money for time, you are limited. Right. But I'm not doing that. So, you, so the next step is we get more people. So, in, so when you were training 20, 20 people yep. to get there, could you do that in a six-hour day and then be still have everything? No, but I might have to bring somebody else in that does more of the training. Gotcha. But the, my, my thing is, is, so what happens is when most people have a drive like you have, which I admire, that's why, and what happens is what you'll realize is God puts people around you to help you get to that point because somebody has to have that vision. Oh, well, well, I tell people, hey, when you're not here all the time about where I was, like you believed in me, more than I did. So my inner beliefs really throttled my potential. And then you started pushing me. Whenever we moved over here, I remember whenever you're like, hey, we need to paint this. It's $1,500. Mm -hmm. And I can't do that. By the time we paint. Hey, that's $1,500, <laughs> but that's how small I was thinking. So people do get around you and they do push you. They're like, it's like this little baby inside of you. It's kicking, pushing. You're trying to grow. Getting around you, the reason why I like you here is there's something that resonates with me about how I need to do better in my spiritual life. How much more potential do I have there? I trained him. I mean, <laughs> think, think about you don't just have potential in one area. You're a person. You're a whole person. Mm -hmm. and, and one of the things I want us to do around here is not just focus on one thing. Because just focusing on one thing will create problems like Stephen is saying in other areas. But but the thing that I've wanted to do, like whenever you get great people, 
Stephen and Shawan, the way I've tried to help them is I've tried to get new guys in here to give you guys more yeah. time. And this it's, year, it's, hey, I, I know how much money y'all are going to make this year. Hey, a lot of money. Was this was this year harder or easier because you had people helping you? No, it's actually it, it's, it's two, twofold. It's actually easier, but it's also it feels good because you're seeing new people come in and they're learning this craft and they're getting good at it. So there's something about being able to hand off a torch and being able to see that. So yeah. that, that to me is way more worth. I'd rather see Drew triple what I make because I was an opportunity. And Steve and everybody else was an opportunity to see him do that. That does not bother me. That makes me feel good. Now, if I want to beat him, I'm going to beat him. But at the end of the day, I, I enjoy that. Yeah, but y'all y'all made a lot of money. But y'all y'all got a lot of time now. You've got more time. Right. So, so see, that can continue. The more you help them, somehow it all comes back to you, don't but it? It still don't stop me from getting up at 4 in the morning or 4.30 hey, and working I and driving. That. I ain't you saying know, So the time is there. You're we right. still say you're the hardest working man in show right. business up here. But I, I, do but. Think, I do think that potential is one of those things. So whenever you go to – and so can I put you on the spot? Of course. I like okay. the spot. So if we want to go to 300 – have you ever sat down with Brittany and said, hey, this is what I think it's going to take me to get to 300. I'm going to have to probably have a few less nights here, a few more Saturdays here. This is what it's going to take. Now you, you negotiated football. Remember? Yeah, yeah. That was good. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Yes, you can reach higher, but there's other aspects of your life, friends, uh, mentors. Well, I'm like looking that. at that stuff, I ain't nowhere near. Like, it's – as I've gotten older, I've become more and more focused on just like I've gotten smaller. Like who I talk to the most by far is you guys. Yeah. Like I don't talk to a lot of people outside of this room, really. Right. I mean, there's and I used to be that guy. Hey, I was like you, Stevie. I'm calling all these people every single day. <laughs> now, now you go in there. I go home. I put my. I don't even like look at my phone. Hopefully, no leads are finding the way to call me. You know, I'm, I'm trying to get them to where they all go to you guys. Uh, Kari Ahn, more of the mortgage guru, she will probably be in the top ten in the, the world this year. Weatherman is onto something. Your potential is just a personal preference, but always reach for the moon in everything you do so you can lead among the stars. Give your all every day. That's right. Now, see, here's where you become very valuable. Now, it isn't your time. Your time is going out and working with people, yeah. clients. But now, your skill set, your knowledge to get to all these other people. Yeah. See, what if we've got 30 people here one day? You, The magic man may help uh, everybody make more money by not working with clients and only helping the other people. Hey, here's how you do this deal. Here's what you need. How many times has he told you, here's how you need to do this? And see, where it gets tricky is the way I would tell you to do it and the way he would tell you to do it may not be the same. And a lot of times his way's right, my way may be wrong. Remember, I'm removed from actually live bullets out there with people. I'm somebody that I may come in and I don't have the patience, so I may just say, hey, you got to tell them like this, get it over with, get the answer right now. Whereas really the way people work, they may work a little bit slower. So... So a lot of a lot of your gifts, weatherman, is how you tell Drew or other people how. Hey, here's how you're going to get this deal. But, hey, but you know what? It took a guy, a guy you talk about him. I mean, Dan and Dan embedded stuff in me. You embedded tremendous. And the one thing about it, when I come over here, I didn't have a clue about anything on computer and emailing. Now you never, you, now you, you never email. I catch you. We built my confidence up, so now we do it the same way that Dan is such a strong salesperson. Probably one of the best ones I've ever met. And, but he drives that instantly. You got to be there just like that. Don't miss it. Boom, boom, boom. And that right there, it creates something. You know, so people along people along the way will really instill certain things in you, and you'll use part of that. And then it creates something beautiful. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. The way I feel around you. So you give me a piece whenever you uh, you calm me down. Because we're not in control. That helps me make sense of my anxiety in the moment. You know what the I'm saying? The way you make me feel and you make me feel of moving more and doing How more. do we make you feel? You make me motivated, by the way. Motivated? Yeah, you. 
I like that. That's how I'm going to start saying it. Mm-hmm. Hey, you do. You really do motivate me. You know, I watch you. I listen to you. I see him. He challenges me. He tells me, do this, do that. I see it happening practically. Mm-hmm. That is a driving thing for me. It just helps me to get into my potential, you know. I wake up. This morning, I almost got late. A client called me, but I knew I needed to be here by the time I scheduled out be here. So that by itself is a driving force, you know. And it, you, you help me a lot. You really do. Well, you help me a lot. You help my family, too. So, everybody, I want you to think about this. Ask yourself, are you hitting your potential? Or what what is that number you feel like you're really at right now? And that's one of the reasons why I stay frustrated, because I really know I could be doing more to get us to a higher number. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. You know what, I would, you know what I, would ask, I, I would ask him on the spot? Hey, how many houses do you want to sell in 2021? Okay, then you need to figure out how to sell 15 and then double that. Yeah. Because what most people do is they automatically jump to 30 and they ain't figured out how to sell five. Mm-hmm. When you figure out how to sell five, then you can sell 10. If you figure out how to sell 10, then you can sell 20. Yeah. And then, the, then it goes on and on. Don't jump across the process, go through the process. And most people don't do that. Yeah. yeah. But I get into the thing where it's like setting big goal to little goal. You know what I mean? Well, 30's a big go for a new agent. I know it is, but I mean, do you get, like now you're saying, with the smaller 5, 10, you know what I mean? I thought about, you know, setting a goal at 10, but it's like, what, you know, do you limit yourself? No, no, your goals at 30. You just yeah. got to figure out how to sell 10. Oh, okay. And then what, how long, is it? let's say, say you set a goal at 30, and it takes you 9 months or 10 months to sell 10. You got to figure out what you're doing wrong, because you got to do that three times. So that's potential. Understanding potential. Where's my potential right now? I want to be here, but where is it right now? And guess what? Who do I, who can I surround myself with to make my potential better? I surround myself with this cat. You know what? Nobody knew me in real estate. They did what I was nine, ten years. Nobody knew me in real estate. I don't have that problem anymore because I surrounded myself. I worked out with him. I come over here. I wore a mask. I did all the stuff that people think I was an idiot. But you know what? They know me. You can't sell something if, if nobody. You can't sell a secret, as Dan Elam says. Everybody have a great day. Thank you for tuning in. That's good.